Good evening, friends. We have a wonderful session with uh, Shreyasta Saman tonight. Welcome, Shreyasta. Good evening, ma'am, and good evening, Candid Meena yeah. family as well. Happy yeah. to be back again. Yeah. Shreyasta is a, is a scientist as well as an analyst based in Germany. And uh, uh, she has got a brilliant, brilliant mind. And, a, and she's a wonderful soul as well. So uh, today, Shreyasta will be talking about that, uh, how money, see, whenever you, you talk about rich people or, you know, wealthy billionaires, we're not always talking about plain money. We're also talking about from where the money comes. Now, uh, the, when the focus, you know, uh, came on the Mahadev online book uh, betting app, which is an umbrella syndicate arranging online platforms for enabling illegal betting websites to enroll new users, create user IDs and laundering of money through a layered web of Benami bank accounts. This app has been named after Lord Shiva. Can you imagine the goal? Okay. Now these Mahadev app founders are running four to five similar apps which are being operated from the UAE. The apps are believed to make a profit of several crores every day. Now with money rushing around the world in seconds, there is a danger that the lowest common denominator will prevail. Excessive greed, aggression, need to acquire as much as you can, and a lack of concern for those affected seems to be characteristics increasing in evidence in financial dealings. Should users of the market be accorded the right of ownership if they are unwilling to accept its responsibilities? An absentee shareholder is no better than an absentee landlord. So this, this is a topic that... Uh, Shreyasa is going to speak about global unethical funding. And all these people who are now, you know, saying they need time, like uh, Ranbir Kapoor and uh, all these people who want time to, you know, uh, go to the ED are trying to cover up their bad deeds. Okay. And this is something that, uh, you know, Shreyasa will talk about. And it's not only about uh, gambling uh, apps. We are also talking about real estate. We are talking about so many other, you know, making of porno movies, you know. So everything combines together to make this sort of uh, dirty money. So over to you, Shreyasa. Please go ahead and tell us what is in yes, your mind. Yes, ma'am. Thank you for the kind introduction and also like the reality check that, ma'am, which is happening via your channel, you know. So it's uh, incredible that, you know, it's finally good to associate. And I just want to make everyone... Uh, understand what is happening behind these algorithms and why how our life is also being affected and we don't know in case the simple example is stock market crash happening imagine inflation increasing you cannot pay your bills suddenly you are thrown out of your job and this and that and everything and you are working really hard so all the working parents must be working 12 hours, 13 hours, or, yeah, you know, you know, we know the pain of even making a small, simple thing uh, that is already existing, making it work. And then yeah, you have does, this, when you yeah. speak, Shreyasa, I just give a small example for our uh, viewers. See something like, you know, in, in, in Bangalore, you get these very uh, tasty uh, bananas, you know, small uh, Elakai bananas. Yeah. Now, mm -hmm. these bananas, just six months back was about uh, 25 rupees for a, do a dozen, okay? Now, the same thing is double the price, okay? Anything you touch has become double the price, okay? So, without our realizing it, now we are becoming cutting down on costs because, you know, nobody's explaining anything. The costs have just gone double. And this is just for the common man to understand. Yes, back to it. Ma'am, it is the same. Uh, trust me, it is the same in industries. And uh, now, man, you never think that industries will stop working this and that. But trust me, I am working across, worked across several industries everywhere. We are just shocked at the price. It has become 3x, 4x, 5x. And uh, then, you know, these communist ideas come in, we subsidize, karenge, ye karenge, wo karenge. No, that will uh, is actually, it, it is even worse. It is better to somehow, uh, I know people who are now working three to four jobs. I myself <laughs> have done that and will be continuing to do it because there is no other way. There is literally no other way to do it. And uh, you, you, there is, a, there is also the need of a substantial amount of workforce. Then there is this Gen Z, which is inspired by, unfortunately, this Bollywoodians. 
yes. you know they are doing more harm than good okay first they have made a place in our hearts i have yes. also watched comedy this kapil and all struggling day or even this ranveer kapoor's previous movies and all when he was new and all these things they are also employees only ma'am if you're yeah. going to a 100 crore wedding to get a crore or 2 crore 3 crore it's because you also have depths you have the desires and you have this and yes. then the uh, whole generation and janta and uh, all whoever from old to young they are like ye log karke nikal sakte hain to hum kyun nahi let me tell you i just want to tell the audience the behind the scenes what is happening the yeah. governments governments okay not only one government but governments the the asset management and financial people they are providing such offers then the insurance industries all of them you see they are proliferating they were they were non existent they were like need need to need basis basic insurance everyone does to secure your life to secure your money rent after 60 62 right because there is a good chance that yes people are living longer but the stress was not so much okay and also when you used to buy something it used to last long nowadays that is not the case <laughs> there are more diseases unfortunately and also what the houses that we are buying our generation can forget it like you can buy unless you are not a celebrity also, or you're, uh, yeah. very ma'am uh, i want to tell one thing <laughs> all the money is bad <laughs> there is nothing <laughs> as good money yeah i was advised this myself there is uh, no such thing <laughs> money yes. is just laundered washed yeah. and donated that is yeah. the unfor- even if you want to do science projects <laughs> it's a, or you want to run a lab uh, as in you know I, i feel like the taxpayers money is uh, <laughs> it's just unfortunate what to do but ma'am we still need people like you and me who still need to keep on trying and uh, still need to you know you know uh, the reason shares that i'm saying bad money yes. here is only because see now suddenly the focus is on money laundering on these apps you know and all all these things that these people bollywood are doing you know right from making sex movies okay and also you know uh, quietly slipping it into your you know into your uh, internet yes I'm into internet. youtube yes and then buying real estate at places like dubai you know and saying that see these are all gifted by the you know sheikhs of uh, dubai this is all wrong you know see it's all are coming under money laundering you know tax evasion so, uh, yeah yeah that's why i mentioned that earlier yeah ma'am what you just said these are the legal loopholes you know who will know only the asset managers or yes. the finan- the people who control the financial instruments yes. you know so what happens is that ma'am see money the, these uh, if you everyone will agree with one fact no matter how much you are earning even if you are having bonus or even if you maybe made some invention or some simple idea like you know you don't really even have to be a scientist just simple things ma'am yes is i think yes. it's just i for me it's just a label right now i really have stopped attaching the tag lines i don't even put the education qualifications ma'am because it's all a business yeah. really even yeah. uh, becoming by degrees you can buy, uh, degrees, you can you buy, can buy yes. degrees you can yeah. really buy anything and everything we are in such a world yeah. market that is how yeah, they are absolutely. playing it you can buy, then, buy a harvard degree or <laughs> ma'am yeah <laughs> depending absolutely. on on which side you are yeah. or if you're on left or right <laughs> left or right it's really that unfortunately <laughs> yes. yeah because yeah. ma'am uh, because there are investors you know if they are anti india they'll come and yeah. i've i've heard it many times when i'm presenting myself for the ideas which can generate real employment and i know so many young people they come to me and they say i wish i could join your lab or something like you wait <laughs> i'm not getting the entry point because people who even have the money it's pledged to the politicians it's pledged to a certain side so they have to keep their personal opinion and personal yeah, so this is what i want to come to share yes. that mm-hmm. see when you talk about like this app you know they they see that they uh, you know were spent around over 200 crores where is the money coming from exactly 200 crores ma'am we know that chandrayaan was sent in like literally <laughs> half of the money so many people employed for so yeah, many yeah. years begin scientists technicians you know good employment like bringing pride to the nation even yeah, even if yeah. it has failed so many times it still made it yeah. to the south pole come on that is a, ma'am you know like when this chandrayaan mission happened 
it. Everyone in Germany, they were like, India did it. All the yes. scientists, they were yes. like, what is Germany so doing? This is, see, absolutely, yeah. Shrestha. This is the point that I'm trying yeah. to also make through our sessions is that, see, the way a leader like Prime Minister Modi is taking India forward, you know, not only through his relationship with all the countries around the world, what he's doing is he's acting as an ambassador. He is pushing India forward. And what is Bollywood doing? Bollywood is sending semi-naked women, you know, to do item dances and sell India in the most cheapest fashion, you know, outside mm -hmm. India. You see? No, so what, no, whatever no. Uh, our leader yes, is no. doing, Bollywood is destroying. Mm. Yeah. No, this is 100% correct, ma'am. Uh, this is something even when I had come new to Germany, uh, I didn't really know about, uh, honestly speaking, how any industry works. Only when I started working, I had the insight. So I met a lot of people who had Indian origin background and were settled here, who were famous in their time, maybe the musicians, or who were somehow associated with the industry. And they were saying, Apne bahut achha kiya. because ma'am, I also have dimples. And when I was a child, I was into professional dancing. And also, I know how it works. And it was a tough decision to leave art and come here, be focused here. But I meet these people, and, and I look at the struggles. And you know that you get so much money just for doing an event which i will take maybe the next 10 years of my life to even achieve that really what they achieve in one hour or you know just from their face value and all that you know that is a completely different economics of scale completely different so i cannot even bear it but this is what happens and there have been singers in the past even this, this lady who was uh, her name was shweta uh, who had very you know manly voice and this and that so she is married to someone who is german and she is so much happier here because of her mental health was saved you know uh, such artists and they say that uh, there has been always this politics and event uh, event organization because it is the fastest way to gain money via ticketing so it is either events attending galas attending uh, someone's you know like ambani's wedding this and that it doesn't go in any register. What they will do, they'll buy the jewelry, they'll buy some nice cars, then they will buy. I mean, imagine we are talking, we are looking at uh, people like, you know, ma'am, uh, I will not take the names, but uh, the lady who is like, you know, changing religion, <laughs> changing life partners, marrying so many times. I think the audience will come to That's know. It. Yeah. 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 And uh, her she does drama uh, on the streets, yeah. Drama all the all the time, drama yeah. every because they need to be relevant. They need to cap grab the media yeah. somehow. You know, they'll dupe, they'll ruin people's lives. You know, innocent people. You know, I feel bad for the people who are even associated with them because yeah. what they think and what they get, they don't understand narcissism or clinical psychopaths now that there is more research on this at that time it was not you know mommy these are all uh, internal things in someone's private or some yes. scientific paper it's published certain population yeah. is like this but what havoc it is causing in people's personal life emotional life financial health it's then it's very bad actually when you really talk to the people you can see the sadness and the yeah. threat that they have and there is no there is no or there is literally nothing for these people. I, I no wonder they resort to drugs, yeah. you know, because uh, unfortunately we don't have a transparent financial system where the money is coming in, where it is used, where it is lost. It's not there. Uh, yeah. Secondly, then so girls from tier two, tier three city. Yeah, yeah. So again, mm -hmm. Shresa, going back to uh, these. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. To the real estate and yes. Hmm. Yes, ma'am. That's why they invest. I just you know. wanted to, yeah, I just wanted to uh, show you this. See, uh, here you will see this is uh, uh, Janvi Kapoor's uh, suite or her house. Okay, the one that she bought for around sixty-two wow. crores. And this is the boulevard uh, that is going to be named after him, SRK, in uh, Dubai. That's going to come up. So. Uh, Obviously, you know, people are going to ask you questions My that say, where, where do they get this money from? You know, these are the questions that so uh, people ask. And this dirty money is where, uh, you know, floating around in real estate, uh, posh cars.
luxury cars, you know, and events like this, which we mentioned, apps. Apps, yeah. Ma'am, on all these events where these people are dancing or doing this, and all the cosmetic industry also, completely yes. supportive of them. Absolutely. And yeah. uh, only giving opportunities to these people only. So yeah. everyone, all of them are hands in glove. The security, they, they have bought everything. So what is left for the public? Nothing. Yeah. See, there was a question asked, asked to one of the top Hollywood uh, singers, pop singers, uh, like, you know, how she maintains herself and how she remains uh, young, uh, uh, Jennifer Lopez. And she, uh, apparently what the, the reason why she is young is the fact that she she, she does not uh, resort to Botox or any of these, uh, you know, uh, what you call uh, uh, cosmetic surgeries. And if you see anybody, now, for example, if you look at Aishwarya Rai now, and the Aishwarya Rai who was there before, there's a complete difference, you know. Uh, she looks absolutely, uh, totally different. She looks rather bloated. And uh, it could be only because of uh, surgical reasons that, uh, you know, she's wishing to cover herself or her body or whatever. Because you now don't see her in any uh, mm -hmm. sort of, earlier she used to wear revealing clothes. Now she hardly, she wears more like burkas and, uh, you know, accompanies her daughter. Similarly, if you look at, uh, uh, you know, the lady that you mentioned who keeps changing religions, you know, and uh, she looks completely a different form of what she started with. So all of them are changing their features because, see, I'm well, sure that the surgical was, well, doctor I felt she was more has pretty. an image. Yeah, they yeah. have an image and they make everybody look like that. So they all look now very similar. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, this is yeah. where the money is going. This is also like yeah. a, you know, really, and there is no, uh, there is no account for this, you know, because yeah. the most of these surgeries are unauthorized. You know, yes. if yeah. anything, uh, there was this another actress whose nose was completely gone and she's never seen yeah. back again. She talked about it also. You know, why do you go to these people? You know, when I'm developing technology in the computer vision side, which is like, oh, sorry, my internet is a little bit uh, like, you know, which it talks about accuracy and, you know, the modeling and ergonomics. You know, now it is still under progress. It's not 100 percent developed also. Slowly, slowly they're introducing and these people work without it. How much confidence yeah. they have? No, no, I, my hands are very good. Yes, you are number one doctor. Great. But there is a there is a right of everyone should know that they have a right to know how their body will look before and after yeah. the, and how like safe it is. They cannot go under the knife. You know, there are so many regulations yeah. that have been bought in these years and uh, it was unregulated free market. And they choose these hubs like Turkey, like this yeah. UAE countries Korea. because they, they are Kasai's only. They are Kasai's yeah. only. They, they have zero yeah. empathy and they will operate on you. They don't care yeah. about your emotions. This is the big you know, impact of money uh, Shreza, and the cosmetic say, industry. Yeah, I would say that, see, they are also catering to a certain demand, which is, see, you know, uh, what everybody says, all these actresses, they say, whenever they are at a very low point, they say that, see, men want, uh, the, in Bollywood, uh, what they want, these producers want, is big bust. So, which means silicon, uh, you know, injected bust, okay? Then you are talking about voluptuous lips, which is again Botox and fillers. Okay, you're talking about uh, you know a, a very slim, uh, a slim waist, which means even removing removing a rib. You know, which is what they used yes, to say yes. allegedly about uh, Jane Fonda. You know, so uh, it's such a painful procedure. Now, uh, see, these are the things, and that's what you say. See, you're saying that see, it is not even a, a, a legal you know system. People can uh, you know get their jobs botched. Hmm. Ma'am, doctors are also, you know, they have to pay the bills, they have to pay the employees, and they they get such clients only because these these women, so-called women, who are the you know arm candies of these people, they have the cash. They are they come loaded with, you know, I'll give you money like this. Who con gharai lakshmi ko fir mana karega? You know, yeah. they are, they also work on a certain business model. They also yeah. they of course will advise you don't go for that. You look pretty. They even do, uh, there is a mandatory mental health checkup. When the mental health guy says good to go, only then nowadays the surgery happens. These yeah. these women are so con convinced, you know, they, you do, they don't need any jadu tona or anything. They themselves yeah. are very convinced that only if I do this, I'm relevant. No, 
because the people who are controlling your gigs and all have made it a norm within them which previously was not there previously hr used to sit or there used to sit a experienced person who used to tell them you can say no to this you know i have seen uh, the some interviews of the past item girls and all they used to say that no this was not the norm they created it and there is no guarantee that it will reach the public there is absolutely no also, guarantee that it will be yeah, see, when you say uh, uh, see i will just cite an example see when uh, uh, recently katrina kaif uh, came back looking very very bloated you know in her face i mean we were all wondering what happened to this woman because uh, you know she was quite uh, she had a very nice uh, face and mm. uh, she she lo- looked very pretty suddenly you know she looked very bloated and all these uh, trolls started saying that this lady has done uh, botox and changed her face and all that now what mm. happens is to cover up that they will not act in any films till all that goes you know oh, so yeah. it's like you know make a mistake regret wait by that time you have become old you don't get any movies also okay now here shreya i want to ask you you were saying about these uh, semi porn movies you know getting into youtube could you talk about that a little bit and about the money that goes into that yes ma'am it's a yeah. very unfortunate uh, thing that i came to know ma'am uh, see the thing is to run any news channel or any network or any thing you know any any it system which is providing video and audio Uh, you need a you need money in crores 100 crores 200 crores 300 crores it's the minimum apparently you know less than one tenth of the price uh, i think you can just launch another bloody satellite <laughs> or just create another camera <laughs> honestly speaking when i came when i come to know the money that goes into running this to make it profitable and uh, there is a certain amount of frustration uh, you know and that is what the alt balaji and uh, uh shakti kundra and uh, yeah for, caterers, for kundra. caterers you know <laughs> so they i will say they are caterers you know yeah. our uh, nice caterers you so what about the masks man masks man yes <laughs> they, they are catering to yeah. this uh, artificial demand so yeah, and the what, anaconda mouth <laughs> anaconda mouths and all these they have done is via their so called saas bahu bullshit Uh, they have convinced the ladies and the men that you are unsatisfied having a simple dharmic family or what was going on it's boring who does that oh this is the norm and that's what their chelas and the people who have acted with them will do of course because they are also earning a lot of money and this and that but you know they all, always have late night parties they really don't sleep also and then they will come to they have their cl- clinic clinicians or beauticians or whatever to make them look like the night was normal you have makeup that's why makeup industry flourished right all of a sudden there is this demand it was artificially created so all these things are artificially injected now slowly slowly as 5g 4g and 3g is reaching these places more and more hand devices are reaching people's hand so ma'am they don't know to operate they don't understand the hashtags they understand nothing so what is happening it's on their screens just like that if even if they're for, ma'am uh, because even the algorithm takes a lot of understanding when i am having issues being in the computer domain myself to figure things out i mean normal people they are just sliding up and down left and right that's yeah. it they are not yeah. using yeah. their brains yeah. because the apps are designed that way yeah. and this is what is their content yeah. and okay and then comes the ad that if you put such contents you will get million views you will get this oh. that million views means how much you are getting 10000 15000 30000 you are getting so from the dirty talk and from the touching and this and that they are uh, earning that much money now these people are becoming quickly rich otherwise yeah. what you will do basic farming you will provide basic service which is yeah. painful you know you have to sit and you have to toil and you will get what you get is a couple of thousands maybe yeah. less than 20 30000 and mm-hmm. here they are doing this and they are motivated automatically motivated husband is convincing wife this and that mm-hmm. and this is what is coming in fact it is coming in my mobiles as well i was shocked yeah. even so only uh, restricted to india stress or all all of the world all over the world ma'am it's coming in my mobile so i am telling you and i was like why are people doing this i went into the things of it ma'am and they are buying all these cars like ma'am I'm, i've worked in the car industry i i don't think i can afford that car for the next 5 to 6 years at least these people have that car already 
what have they doing yeah, right? yeah, yeah. it cannot it mm. so this is what they are doing the soft porn industry is a 500 crore market mm. okay which is uh, uh, hidden from us mm. uh, and these are the actors in short pockets and some people you might who will blatantly come out are the new age some so called you know the lady mm. who will just wear anything obnoxious yeah. and come out you know or yeah. her other counterparts who has you know enhanced her uh, boobs and this and that and then they are yeah. dangerous uh, surgeries as well mm. so they were because they are ready to go to this length okay yeah. and yes ma'am they are earning in crores that's why they are yeah. earning in crores yeah. and, and also, have, yeah yeah also share so what i found out is that see i was watching the interview of a, a television actor you know who uh, underwent a very uh, bad period in his life and mm. uh, you know though he was not he was not mentioning it but through you know because being a journalist i can make out uh, read between the lines and see what is happening so what happened was he was acting in uh, ikka kapoor uh, television series okay now now he there was a period about 10 years when he was out of work okay mm. now this guy guy is a very down to earth guy and he says that see because of my arrogance i was achieving so much fame i became so arrogant that i forgot myself and i lost this okay now mm-hmm. this uh, person who's interviewing is also very intelligent now he is trying to uh, find out of course he's speaking on behalf of bollywood and he is saying that see what happened exactly and all that so the truth comes out the truth comes out that see the people who are the producers they make them go down okay they push them into an abyss yes. when they feel very down you know they have no option bring them back okay when they've lost everything bring them back they will listen to whatever you say yeah you are the slave they Money. become the slave so then he'll say that oh god this ekta kapoor is my savior or this one is my savior you see so what happens is manipulation of these small actors and actresses in the tele scene makes them gods Yes. yes and then and they prefer to be called like goddesses my yes. queen yes, yes. zarina the, zarina yes zarina you will see that in the other camp you know yeah yeah the wife of uh, <laughs> ranveer yes. kapoor's family's yeah. camp that i think the here also lady, i think very strange uh, shasta is that see in this uh, uh, app that uh, you know was f- found out in uh, uae you know ranveer kapoor was sent not alia but why so her father knows very well that if he sends his dear daughter you know she will get caught you see so he sent the son in law they are hands in gloves man it's it's just it's a it's a convenience yes it's a business so, and life and also it means that you are very careful where you will send your daughter but son in law is ready for everything isn't it very strange now he is being questioned by the ed now why did he, he not send his daughter she goes to, i mean you just open the television she is there you open the phone she is there you, you even open your toilet oh, no let us not go up to there anywhere you open this lady is there how come she didn't go for the app dance of a uh, app entertainment yeah yes. why will she lose this opportunity right she is now yeah. in hollywood also she is there yeah. ma'am yeah. so they right. know that they will be questioned by the ed and pulled up so they were playing safe you know no, yeah it's a white cover uh, anywhere even when they are investing in uh, you know now this social media and all this youtube and all these other channels they had never thought in the past 10 15 20 years ago that this can bring them so much money and in the past you know everyone played safe or those actors of 80s and 90s a lot of them you know they took up other jobs or other businesses who are smart and mentally strong they actually got out of it but the ones like you know ma'am you were mentioning someone became a driver there and all ma'am he is living definitely i'm telling you uh, must be living a life of you know inner peace happiness no one being his boss why did he choose that profession i'll tell you because he is the master of his own time and he is it's not a low job you know we we might see it as a low job but i if i do the psychological profiling 
the, this man was in the control of the south indian gang mafias you know you you have to bow down to this actor this a b c d e f g and i think he was sick and tired of it you know because there is only so much uh, a person can take in so they, when they are choosing such extreme life decisions he, he must have earned enough money to make a restaurant or this or that but why he chose that i'll tell you he is the master of his own time he is the master of his own who he can take who cannot he is a simple life ma'am and the satisfaction of a simple life and a simple job do money can really uh, of course at a certain age we need money we need to make house we need certain materialistic comforts but after that it will not fill your jug and when you are mentally harassed ma'am if your one leg and hand is gone enough technology is out there you will have you will have like a x men hand like anything i'm telling you in couple of years we'll have heart and brain also 100% that high the science is going but ma'am yeah. your consciousness and when your mental health is gone there is no pill it is only family support it is only society support it is only empathy you cannot create it i am telling you working in the field of robotics you cannot mimic it a real human touch is a real human touch yes for certain time teddy bears help or a certain thing you know artificial thing is helping but we are humans we will crave for real emotions and this so now you will see these ladies who were working under the uh, you know uh, in the darkness shadows and this and that in the, the this is a shadowy world you know where they are these women they ma'am like the red light area in amsterdam and all you know why this is still existing because they want it that way because yeah. these people have enough money and they will trade in women can you believe it yeah that is the reality they will trade in men also they just see you like a pawn you know where they can fit you put you where they can utilize you for them yeah. even if they are financially down it's only a matter of time for them they'll do a certain show they'll uh, there will be such these app creators black money to white money in one day it is washed Your years and years also, of loss is covered in yeah. one day. Yeah. Also, very important is that the viewers should understand that where this money is coming from is from people like politicians, you know, who are parking their money here and getting it whitewashed. So this is one thing. That is why you will never get these politicians to uh, speak against Bollywood. Never they will speak. You see. because they'll always you know see if they have a birthday party or a wedding party they will call the top superstars why because they're making peace with them you know making peace with them and saying that see please keep my money safe you know Correct. tomorrow when i'm out of politics you know you need to look after me Correct. it is this sort Correct. of dirty game that is leading to all these things mm -hmm. Uh, ma'am last thing i just want to tell to viewers ma'am uh, you know how they save the money for the generations ma'am there are schemes asset management schemes that no no uh, police in the world can touch if you have invested in that yeah. this is what the swiss banks or all these some countries not only swiss bank there are other countries who are now offering these similar schemes because no, they are like exactly. my Tax yeah, should, yeah, tax haven country. These islands, ma'am, they are built for this region yeah. only. Monaco, yeah. Maldives, yeah. yes, all these things. What is happening here? Dubai, yeah. ma'am, why Dubai? I feel Dubai was Dubai is still being built for these things only. The, the you don't there is excess of the property is excess of everything. Yeah. It's a overflowing society. Even ma'am, that society now there is a reverse trend happening. Yeah. In that society, the women are cheating more. because suddenly they have the freedom and this and they have this revenge attitude that uh, you know where their mothers and grandmothers have uh, you know faced the wrath now they are like we will break the trend so they are cheating they are having affairs and the men are like and in this case it has become the reverse they are the nice guys they are actually good so yeah because i follow the psychologists from there also and they are like shrasta the uh, here complete you turn who i am like okay first time i got to hear that So I'm like, yeah. So end of the end end game is money and power. When it ha has its respective men, women, LGBTQ, they become corrupt. Finish. Yeah. That is the bottom line. That is how yeah. I see it. Also, see also the fact that see, uh, you know these uh, women. See, this was written by a person who said that see why do all these women uh, have such large 
uh, you know, accounts in their Instagram. Okay. And why do they only wear bikinis or uh, they're always semi clad, you know, so because they do not have any other jobs, they're not modeling or anything. So uh, th this guy was very clear about uh, saying that, see, where do they get their money from? And he was clever enough to say that, see, these women actually go to places like UAE where they get very, very rich boyfriends like sheikhs, you know, you know who give them the platinum uh, ATM card and tell them you can shop and do whatever you want as long as you are there for our use. Okay. So after this use and all that, what happens is then they get all these sort of diseases. Yes. They come back to India. Yeah. And they get themselves treated. Why would a young girl of say 30 or you know, 32 or 33 go into a hospital for nine days? Okay, these young item girls and all that. Why would they go to a hospital for nine days? Obviously, it could not be abortion because see, there's nothing wrong to say that you had an abortion or a miscarriage or whatever. Today, it's accepted. But they don't talk about why they went there for nine days or 10 days. Okay, that means they went there for a certain reason. So there are some doctors... Uh, gynecologists, you know, they divulge to their close friends that see these actresses, I can't name them, but they come, you know, uh, very often because they get transmitted uh, sexual diseases. STDs. You know, yeah. STDs and, you know, it's all alleged again, again because this is only news we do not know about, you know. So. The facts, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, with this, we'll end this uh, session, yes, uh, Shaisa. Yes. Yeah. Thank you so much. And whenever, you know, you're free with your free, do join us again on another interesting session. Thank yes. you so much. Thank Good night you. and Jai Hind. Jai Hind.